Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. There are several different ways that we can speed up our workflow by making changes to multiple images at one time in the Develop module. Let's take a look at five methods so that you can choose the one that's right for you. I've already made some changes to this image, and now I want to apply the same changes to another. If I select the second image, and then click Previous, all of the changes that were applied to the first image are now applied to this one, including cropping. If you want more control, we can click Copy, and then check the settings that we want to apply. Then I'll select the next image and choose Paste to paste only those settings that I'd previously copied. A third way to speed up our workflow would be to select multiple images, making sure that the enhanced image is the active image, the one that we see here in Loop View, and then choose Sync. Again, we can select only those settings that we want to synchronize and then apply them to the other selected images. The fourth way is really useful if you know that you're going to want to make the same changes to several images. First, I'll select the images and then enable Auto Sync. Now any changes that I make will be applied to all selected images. Just don't forget to toggle Auto Sync off when you're finished. And finally, you can use a preset. I'll select this image that I've applied a radial gradient to using a mask to darken the edges. Then I'll click the plus icon on the preset panel, give the preset a name, and choose to save it in the user presets group. I'll include the radial gradient mask and create the preset. Now we can move to another image and apply that preset. One tip before we wrap up, under the settings menu, you can find the keyboard shortcuts for copying and pasting settings, as well as pasting settings from previous, sync settings, and enable auto sync. And if you want to sync multiple images and bypass the synchronize settings dialog, when I hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, notice that the three dots on the Sync button are hidden. Now, if I click the Sync button, it will sync the selected files using the options that were last selected in the Synchronize Settings dialog. But because the Sync dialog isn't displayed with this shortcut, it does require that you remember what you checked last time you synced files. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.